Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like the video. Oh, Dad! I don't know where he's at. Not over here. It's about 10 degrees this morning having a little issue we're loading corn out of the big machine shed and for some reason my auger quit so now we're gonna climb up the old fuse box i'm hoping it's just a blowing fuse or something when it's this cold out i'd rather not have to be working but you know while i was up here thinking about it look at all the days we have a blizzard or ice storms in our local electricians, any of them companies. Look what them guys do for us. My hat's off to you guys that work on the uh, high lines and stuff because I know you're out there in some nasty, nasty weather. Sometimes we forget to thank you guys and women for uh, kind of, I'd actually say risking your life for us to have heat and electricity and sometimes when lights go out we're complaining in five minutes that's nothing which you guys go through so thank you thank you thank you let's get working on this high tech 105 year old electricity stuff and see if we can get it working i did turn the main power off at the pole so everything here is dead dead i actually tested a little bit ago to make sure we're not professionals by all means so we want to be very careful okay let's see if we can get her going Okay guys, like I said before, we need to empty the cooling bin, so we got auger set up here to shoot it right into the big machine shed, so we just gotta get a motor pack on right here, and then this will be ready to empty out, and then hopefully we'll get this bin empty. Just make sure the power is on in the big shed. Okay! I'm gonna show you something that just about happened to Cole or Cooper. They were very lucky. I just about overfilled the grain cart. I mean, they just about overfilled the grain cart. So good thing, shut it off in time or it would have been all over the floor. Every year, it seems like when you get out of the field, you're just kind of exhausted. You kind of just don't feel like doing a whole lot. So December is kind of a slower month for regrouping. But right now what I'm doing, I'm trucking some corn from the big machine shed, putting it in a little wagon to the auger, going up to the grain leg, up to the hopper bottom behind me. So then semis can pull in, load up this little yellow auger right here. They pull underneath it. We fill them up with corn and then they can go to the processor with it or wherever we need it to go. So that's what I'm doing today. Just kind of moving corn around. When I get in the big machine shed, I'll get some videos of loading out there. Just kind of running a little bit slower for the last few days, but we'll get our energy back. Has this ever happened to you? You got like 20 vehicles. You know, the farm truck, the parts truck, the runaround truck, the family vehicles, your personal vehicle. You go to leave in the morning and there's not a vehicle in your shed. And then you go over to the other farm and there's a whole slug of them sitting here. And there's some in the shed. And you think to yourself, well, how in the heck did they all get over there when it takes a driver? That was me this morning. I walked out into my shop there's no vehicles and I go over to Cole's place there's like a hundred of them sitting here and now next week somehow they'll all end up down at my place but oh well I always got the taxi to call Another bad habit dad has is when he puts the auger down on the grain cart, he doesn't put it down the last eight inches. So it's just sitting there kind of flopping. Dad's got a lot of bad habits. A lot. 
I have a feeling we're gonna find a corn pile when we go around this corner. Okay, that's weird. I fully expected to find the belts burned off that auger right there, but what ended up happening was when we cored out the center of this bin, there must have been some little hard chunks on the top, whether they were iced over or what. They came down into the middle, and then they plugged the hole for the auger here so then corn couldn't get into it. We're hoping that it was a frozen chunk of corn, so we turned the bin fans on. We're gonna let those run for a couple hours here, and hopefully this 35 degree air will be enough to thaw that out so then corn will keep flowing back through. Otherwise, we gotta get the grain vac to clean out that bin, and it's just not as fun when you have to use the grain vac. All right. We need Daddy Corn Star advice of the day. The other day, one of my good friends, we'll just call him Brock to protect him, and that is actually his real name. His girlfriend sent out a picture, and it was her car, and she was looking at the gas gauge, and she had circled the gas gauge with a red circle. It was on fumes, and even on my end, I could hear the fuel pump pumping, making all kinds of noise, meaning it was about ready to run out of gas. She said, will I be able to make it from A to B, which was roughly 45 miles or so? And it was cold that day. And the wind would have been blowing at her, which would have used more than the half a pint of gas she had in her car. So, hey, winter time, we want to be thinking. Keep that fuel tank full. It is actually hard on your fuel pump. Uh, I did tell her if she ran out, I would go help her out, bring her a gallon of gas to get her home. Right now, dad is, <laughs> dad's stuck in the skid loader right now. We're getting ready to head to a cemetery. We have a cremation burial to dig for a family. So we're gonna go get that done and then uh, we'll be back to move some more corn. Shovels and raked. Gonna need the shovel and a rake. Hey, Grandpa. Hi. Thought I'd come out and see where you were gonna be at. We got about three inches of frost to work with here, and once we get through that, it'll be nice and easy digging. Done digging the grave now. We gotta take a lot more corn out of the corn mountain. We had 150,000 bushels of corn contracted for January, February, and March. We decided to roll some of that into the beginning of January. So we just rolled 40,000 bushels to the first half of January. So we gotta keep the stuff moving. I think yesterday Parker, who was our number four truck driver last year, took in five loads of corn. It's a 130 mile round trip. And he did five loads yesterday. He's keeping us moving. And then we can't forget about Ronnie. Ronnie's also been hauling. So between the two of those, we're moving some serious corn. We could have this building empty by the end of January here, which would be really nice because we can get all of our semis, all of our tractors, grain carts, trailers, all inside. It's really nice when stuff's inside because the weather is hard on stuff. We turned the fan on on that bin, hoping it would maybe melt some of that corn if there were some ice chunks in there. But right now, it doesn't look like it's working. All right, Dad's gonna load corn and I'm gonna go pick up some stuff around the house. I got some garbage and stuff that's just been kind of floating around the house. It's driving me nuts. Ah, decided to plop my little butt in the little building there that's heated by our grain setup. Watching the uh, wagon run while I'm emptying out a wagon. Hope everybody on your end is doing fantastic. I wish you all the best and everything too. So sometimes we get wrapped up in our own everyday life and we forget to ask everybody else how they're doing because 
they like to kind of tell how they're doing. But now if you got a bunch of stuff to gripe about and complain about, I am not the one. But uh, if you got good, happy, fun stuff, I'm the one. remember in school sometimes the teacher would throw you a test real quick and say how good were you guys paying attention now some of you that been watching the channel for a while you know what's in this toolbox and you know what's in this toolbox do you guys remember what's in this toolbox over here all right so do you think it was in drawer number one drawer number two or drawer number three or four do you think it's this drawer ah Wrong. What do you think? Ah, uh, wrong. This one? Oh, guys, you're not doing very good. But some of you thought this drawer here. Ha ha, there it is. The old Teflon tape. You know what we should do? Kind of mess it up. That way when Cole comes in here later, he'll think, He'll think Mama Cornstar got into the Teflon tape. Man, I got some bad news for you guys. No, this is not my permanent haircut. That's not the bad news. The bad news is this is the end of the video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Subscribing is completely free and it notifies you when I post. That way you can keep up with what we do here on Cornstar Farms. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.